This year's YouTube Rewind was a complete disappointment for a plethora of reasons, but I'm going to focus on a few in this quick video. For one, it's the same daggone people that were in the last one. Each year, it's just the same people regurgitated back up on screen for me, and that's so frustrating. You never see any of the fringe channels of YouTube ever getting a spotlight that are actually doing a lot of good on YouTube in YouTube Rewind. You'll never see H3H3 Productions in there. You'll never see someone like John Tron or Game Grumps or Boogie2988, those types of channels that either A, have really really good content, but don't necessarily reflect what YouTube wants people to see, or channels that actually make a difference in discussing problems in the community of YouTube, or just general problems overall. And it's frustrating to see these types of YouTubers get completely ignored when it comes to YouTube Rewind. I get that YouTube Rewind is supposed to be like, oh, this is all the things that happened over the year, but I'm seriously sick of seeing Tyler Oakley, Dan and Phil, Superwoman, that core group of idiots in these videos. It's so annoying. I want to see new people, but not just new people. I want to see people who are relevantly new. like. People who are relevant, not these idiots who are like, I've got half a million subscribers and talked to them and got in on this video. I don't know who this nobody is. They're getting, what, 50,000 50, views a video? There are people out there getting millions of views and not getting anything from YouTube. This is a great opportunity to fly people in and have them get a chance at doing this. Not only that, I'm sorry, YouTube, but g talk show hosts are not YouTubers. They're not YouTubers. They they rack in free views based on a television show. Like, I don't even want, I don't want to see them. I don't want to see Dwayne The Rock Johnson leading this off. Like, I want to see more of Casey Knight. I, like, I want to see more of those types of YouTubers who have been giving you plenty of money. It's frustrating because they completely ignore YouTubers who honestly are doing a lot more than some of the people they have in, in the video this year. I, I look forward to YouTube Rewind so much, and this one was pretty good. My favorite one was probably last year. Last year was just amazing. This one was kind of like... Uh, kind of, it's, it's getting old, man. It's getting really old. I just wonder where they're going to go next with this, honestly. I can't see them doing this every single time with the same kind of theme. There's always these popular songs that they associate with the year of YouTube, and a year in YouTube, if you will, but it's kind of getting old. It's kind of getting boring and stale. It's like the same thing rehashed. I think 2012 is when they first started out with, like, Psy, and it's Gangnam Style. They let it off, and I'm like, wow, this is, like, really interesting and cool, but now they've done it five times now, four times, and I'm just like, come on. This is getting old, man. So I really hope YouTube makes those changes next year, and it's interesting. You know, that video will do just fine, but you don't see any of the stuff that happened on YouTube in that video at all. Like, you don't see, you know, where's the part where all the people lose subscribers all of a sudden drop in numbers? Where's the part in YouTube Rewind where they're like, hey, we changed the algorithm. Haha, <laughs> you'll all be out of a job soon. At times like that, I'm kind of glad I don't do YouTube for a living because I can only imagine the amount of stress that goes into that kind of thing and having your numbers drop for no mother effing reason. And you're just like, <laughs> I'm losing my job without doing anything wrong. I thought I was playing the game. And it sucks because YouTube won't explain what the game is. So it's just like, I don't know what's going on, but my millions of subscribers are not seeing my videos. And that's not good. You know, when someone subscribes, hey, they want to see your video. If that's happened to you, leave a comment down below. I've had a few people approach me and be like, hey, uh, kind of glad I found your channel because I got unsubscribed. And that pisses me off. And these are like loyal viewers who for no reason should be cut out of my circle of, of people, man. So I don't know. I just kind of wish YouTube had done it a little bit differently this year. But hey, they got to bring in the views and just rehash the same people over and over again. Let's get the idea. Justine's and the Jenna Marbles and the Niga Higa and Smosh and get them all in there and just make a video. Make us millions of dollars. You'll notice how that video gets on the trending page, but you know, nobody else. They're just too busy with Fox promoting the next stupid Star Wars movie. I don't even know who does Star Wars. And you know, all these talk show hosts getting a spot on there instead of the real YouTubers who are making stuff. Yeah, because that'll help me want to get into other stuff. Force more crap down my throat in the trending tab. That's all I want to say. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.